Hello everyone, and welcome to my quick overview of the Sony DualShock 4 for use on PC, specifically with Street Fighter V. I was debating between this one and the Xbox One controller on a previous video, and the Xbox One controller won out. Um, and then recently this came up at, a, at an unbeatable price, and I couldn't say no, so I picked this one up as, as well. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. I've had this for a couple days, and I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, overall, compared with just initial impressions really, um, overall it feels like a more sturdy controller than the Xbox One controller. Uh, everything seems to be very, very nice on this. I didn't think I'd like it this much, but I do. Um, I really like the D-pad on it. The buttons are nice. The triggers are actually pretty nice. Some people don't like them, but I really do. The only thing I don't like on this controller are the thumbsticks, and that's just because of the, it, it's not the, the use, like the functionality works great, it's just the, the material I don't like. These are the updated thumbsticks as well, um, th that are supposed to not peel as much as the other ones, but regardless, I do like the Xbox One, just the style of the thumbstick a little better, and I've read online that these are interchangeable, so what I might do at a later point is just open this up and put the new Xbox One style thumbsticks in, and be good to go that way. So moving on from there, uh, this is connected wirelessly right now uh, through Bluetooth. This also works through micro USB. I just find uh, the response time and the lag time between micro USB and Bluetooth is negligible. I don't notice it. Um, some people might, possibly, but for me, it it honestly didn't change at all. So I just am using Bluetooth um, to get this to work on the PC with. Well, I'm running Windows 10 with Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5 does not support direct input. It only supports X input at this moment. Hopefully they'll patch the game later on, but at this moment it only supports direct input. So there has to be a workaround, and there are two that I know of that work well, in just in general. One does not work well for me, and that is DS4 Windows. So DS4 Windows, when I run that program, it gives me the blue screen of death when I've as soon as I hook up the controller, um, and I don't know what's causing it, and I don't have the patience to tinker around since every time I open it, it, it just freezes. So uh, what I did in the interim was install X360CE, and that seems to be working very well. X360CE, I'll put the link in the description, um, also works with the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 4, and it also works with my iBuffalo SNES style controller, and they all work on Street Fighter V. So I'll show you really quick how to use and set up X360CE. It's pretty simple. Um, some people said it was complicated, but I'll just show you quickly. It's not that bad. So once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is you go to, I do apologize if this isn't focusing, but that's the Street Fighter V uh, right there. If you click on um, Properties, and then put this up to the screen. So hopefully you can see. If you go to local files and browse local files, that will bring up where your game is stored. So you have to install um, the X360CE where the executable file for Street Fighter V is. When you first open this up, that is not this one right here. So don't make that mistake. I did a few times and couldn't figure out why X360CE wasn't working and it's because it's not meant to be installed here. So once you open it up, you go into Street Fighter V, then you go into binaries, and you go into Win64, and you put X360CE right in this folder. So I'm going to open it up and just show you that my um, DualShock 4 is working. So it's open right now. Just give it a second there. And you can see it's highlighting from use. You can see, I'll just bring it a little closer. You can see the little control stick moving around. And it works pretty good. So all you can do, you can map it any way you want. Um, when you're done, just save it. Then after that's all done, you close the program. 
you open up uh, Steam, start Street Fighter V up, and just give it a second to go. I do apologize for the glare too, it's from my window, I can't really help it. Um, so just wait for this to load. Hopefully it connects to the game server. Move this camera back so you can see a little better. Oh, I got to click on, sorry, maximized it. There we go. So you can see the DS4 is working nicely. And I'll just go into training. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. I don't know about anyone else, but for me this game is notoriously slow at loading things. Um, when it's running it runs fast. It's just, in general, it's slow to load anything. Um, this also works, so X360, uh, sorry, X360 CE works with my DualShock 4, it works with the, the Hori uh, Fighting Stick Mini 4, and it also works with the SNES style controller. Um, so as you can see, I'm in game now. And everything seems to work pretty good. And that's that. I haven't got this to work yet. Uh, just the center touchpad, which I really wouldn't need to use in this game. And this is the primary game I have this controller for. Um, but besides that, if you have any questions, please let me know in the description, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I will provide the link to X360CE so that you can use it. I will also provide the link to the DS4 Windows, although I haven't been able to get that to work. So I can't speak to that. But anyways, that's that, and thanks for watching.